Hey everyone. So today I'm talking about the electrical wiring system of your heart, which is known as the intrinsic conduction system. It's a pretty important piece of your anatomy because it's what allows your heart to be in a nice coordinated rhythm so that your atria can track together, which pumps the blood into your ventricles, and then the ventricles can track together to pump the blood up and out of your heart. So the cells of the intrinsic conduction system are a type of specialized cardiac muscle cell that can generate their own electrical impulses. And these electrical impulses then spread through the rest of the heart, causing it to contract. So even though all of the cells in the intrinsic conduction system are capable of contracting, there's one especially important group of cells that leads the rest of them. And this is the sinoatrial node. So the sinoatrial node is the pacemaker because it generates electrical impulses faster than the rest of the cells in the intrinsic conduction system. So as long as everything is functioning as it should be, the SA node is going to set the rhythm and control the speed at which electrical impulses are traveling through the rest of the intrinsic conduction system. So when the SA node generates an impulse, that impulse travels throughout the atria, causing the atria to contract. And at the same time, that impulse ends up activating the atrioventricular node, which is the next part of the intrinsic conduction system. So the atrioventricular node allows the, pa allows the impulse to pass into the ventricles. So the AV node leads into the AV bundle and the AV bundle then divides into the left and right bundle branches, and the bundle branches then further subdivide into the subendocardial conducting network, also known as the Purkinje fibers. So the Purkinje fibers are what's communicating um, this electrical impulse to the muscle cells of the ventricles, and ultimately is what's going to cause the ventricles to contract. So left to its own devices, the SA node generates about 100 electrical impulses per minute. So this would translate to 100 heartbeats per minute. But the reason that your resting heart rate isn't 100 beats per minute is because the brain fine tunes how fast or how slow the SA node generates electrical impulses. So at rest, your brain is sending an impulse to the SA node telling it to slow down. So to recap, the pacemaker is the sinoatrial node, which causes the atria to contract, and also sends an impulse to the AV node, which leads to the AV bundle, the bundle branches, and to the subendocardial conducting network, which causes the ventricles to contract.